Hi, my name is Gunnar Peterson. I'm going to show you 10 moves that are going to help you on your heart healthy lifestyle. These moves and silk soy milk are going to do it for you. So get ready and let's get after this. All right, here's a move. It's called the dumbbell squat to triple extension with a monkey row. You don't have to write it down. You just have to do it. I want you to squat down and you're going to drive up through the heels and then shift the weight out to the toes as you row the dumbbells up to your armpit. So you're going to come up, ease it down, right there. Steady breathing, keep the chest and chin high, roll them up, just like that. I'm going to give you three more. And depending on what your workout looks like today, you can add or subtract from these. Just make sure your form is good and you beat them up. And this is the kind of thing I encourage clients to do as well as make good choices outside of the gym, which includes your soy milk, because you need the protein, you need the energy. This is a wood chop with a side lunge, and you can do these static, so you're staying in the same place, or you can do them advancing. Take a dumbbell or a medicine ball or a gallon of water or whatever you can handle up to the side and chop down, look at your target, and then follow it if you're advancing, or you can chop down, come back up, chop down, Come back up, last one, see where you're going with it, and then go to the other side. You're going to chop down, down, let the hips sink, you're getting glutes, you're getting core, what else could you want? All right, this next move I would put up against pretty much any move out there. It's a dumbbell squat press with a twist. So you're going to go down. There's your squat. These are the dumbbells. There's the press, and there's the twist. Try not to let your arms drift too far forward. You want to keep them back. And then other side. You can perform these all to one side and then do the other side. Or you can alternate like I'm doing. Makes it a little more realistic, probably a little more challenging on your balance system. Either way, I have complete and total confidence in you. All right, remember, exercise is key, but you have to combine it with a heart-healthy diet to keep your cholesterol low and your body fat low. My tip to you, work with it. I'm going to a one-leg dumbbell extension. When I take the leg that I will eventually lift up, use it as a kickstand, take the dumbbells up. I have my balance now. I'm lifting that leg, and I'm going into an extension. There's a little break in my support leg, so I want to keep the core engaged. I'm working the triceps, and you'll find out by doing this this way, as your triceps feel like they're running out of steam, when you shift legs and you get your balance on the other side, all of a sudden, you can squeeze a little more out of your triceps. Right there, let's get four of them. All the triceps, all the triceps, all the triceps. All right, this is a hinge crunch, and I'm going to add a dumbbell overhead because I'm a big fan of adding weight to your abdominal training. You can use a dumbbell, you can use a band, you can use a ball, you can use a cable. You're only limited by your imagination. So I'm going to crunch in, knees to chest, weight coming up and over and back. I'm curling up, but I'm also bringing the lower body towards the upper body, so I'm hitting the abdominal wall from the origin up high closer to the heart and from the insertion down low by your waist. This is a push-up with a T-raise. You're going to get your heart rate elevated, and I know you have that healthy heart because you're getting a proper diet, low in saturated fats, low in cholesterol, and you're including silk soy milk, and if you're not, you're not as smart as you look. We're going down into the push-up, up, rotate, bring it down, set it down gently, up, other side, bring it down, up. If you want, you can do these on your knees. I just want you to keep your toes down. So you're still getting the push-up, rotate, push-up, rotate, and you don't have to use the weight if that's too much. A number of ways to modify this. I just want you to engage the core 
as well as engaging the muscles of the chest, shoulders, triceps. All right, the next move is a plank. You can do it from the forearm, or you can do it all the way up on your hands. I'm gonna give it to you from the forearm. Pull the abs in, feet together, lock your body out, work on your posture, relax your hands, no stress in the hands. Make sure you keep breathing steady. You should do this for time. Start with 15 seconds, work your way up to a minute. Steady breathing, abs pulled in. You don't have to stay on this the whole time, guys. You should be doing your own work now, not just staring at me being still. All right, this move is a side plank with a reach under and roll. So I want you to go on your forearm, line your body out. You should have a straight line from the heels up to your head, abs pulled in and engaged. Shoulder directly over the elbow. Coming up, you're going to take the dumbbell and you're going to reach under and rotate up. Reach under and rotate up. Try not to sag too much that way. Keep it up and keep it tight. Whatever number you perform to this side, please perform them to the other side. All right, this move is called the Superman, and I poached it right out of a PT clinic, and I'm not ashamed to tell you that. Great for the muscles of the lower back, which are also part of your core musculature. You lift up arms, legs at the same time, lower. Lift and lower. Because I'm a fan of the weight, you can add weight to it. You can add one weight so it's uneven, so you stretch your core differently. You can alternate. The options are nearly limitless. That's my challenge to you. All right, this is a move that incorporates peripheral heart action training, which means shunting the blood from the lower extremity to the upper extremity. I'm a big fan of that kind of work. Keeps your heart rate elevated, keeps you torching body fat. And if you combine movements like this with things like Silk's new heart health soy milk and your cholesterol is down, you're a circulation machine and you will torch your body fat and look fabulous. Here we go. Step out in a lunge. Reach to the front. Pop back. Curl the dumbbells. Step out. Pop back. Right there. Small step, that's why the mat's out, it's giving me a gauge. It's just a couple of feet, not more. I don't need any big lunges. I want your hips to stay high. Breathing steady. Come back with a purpose as though you're getting off a hot surface right there. Two more because these feel so good and because my heart is pumping. Get after it, people. Keep working out. Keep eating right and add silk soy milk to your diet or it's on you. Stick with your fitness plan, stick with good nutrition, and stick with your soy milk. Healthy heart, strong muscles, it's all you need.